Okay, continuing. We left off, uh, or at least um, my time ran out when I came up with the um, equation and then drew the upper bounds. And you can actually write notes in here. So I can move this to here and I can write upper bounds. It's upper because it happens to be the one that's above. And now I know what that means. And now the to find the lower bounds, um, I just need to come up with a line that is equal distant away and going uh, parallel also. So equal distance away in the other direction. So for that, I need to know what the residual and the expected value is. So remember, this residual was 20.889 above. So I'm looking for the coordinate that is 20.889 below. So it's going to be the same x coordinate of 28, but I need to go 20.889 below the expected value. Expected value is 169. Take away from that 20.889, and I get 148.1. So now I'm looking for the same math, just a different um, Y intercept. So I'll go back over to Jamboard here. And so we're looking for this equation now. So I plug in 148.1 equals 1.96378 times 28 plus B. Using my calculator, it's not very exciting for you to hear me use my calculator, but you can be doing this with your own numbers. So 148.1 equals 55 plus B, so B equals 1.96378. So putting that all together, same slope, 1.96x, but the y-intercept was 93.1. Okay, so that is my lower bounds equation. And it'd be nice if you add notes in yours as well. And so that's what I'm asking you to do. So what I know is all of my expected or all of my um, predicted data is going to have to fall within these upper and lower bounds. So if I wanted to talk about um, how tall would somebody who with a forearm of 40 centimeters be, then it's going to be somewhere between 171.5 and 213.4. And that's your last question on your quiz today. Now I'm going to see if I can have fun with editing. I hope this uh, helps.